Welcome to Running a Fever. It's uh, episode 101. Um, Running a Fever 101. My name is Michael Davis. Um, I've lost over 70 pounds, 10 inches in my waist size, lowered my blood pressure, lowered my body fat. Um, I've just really changed my entire physical state uh, in the last, oh, 10 months. Uh, I love my life today. And um, as a result, I want to make it last as long as possible. And I love it enough that I, I want to make it last as long as possible. And that's what this is all about. This is my journey. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the stationary bike. This is my new stationary bike. And um, unfortunately, you know, I'm still getting used to it. So, so anyway, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> because uh, not only am I trying to operate this thing, which this will be fine from now on. Um, I'm also going to be doing sprints, and I'll talk about that in a minute, if I have the breath to do so, and that's the whole thing about it. So uh, this is what I call uh, high-intensity uh, interval training. What that means is uh, I go a minute, you know, it's starting out, I may go longer than a minute, but right now I'm planning to go a minute of just like this, not much at all. And then I do a minute of uh, sprint, basically. So pretty much as fast as I can go. Um, and the, the, the thing is, what this does is it, uh, it uh, strengthens your heart. And that's why they call it cardio. And a minute has passed, so now I'm trying to ramp things up a little bit. And to make it easier to build the intensity, uh, I'm going to change my resistance level a little bit. And uh, you'd be amazed how fast the time flies when you're doing this. You know, it's uh, pretty amazing. And um, it may not make for a good video or podcast, but uh, it makes for really good exercise. So what I'm going to, you know, the new plan that I've been on for the last few weeks uh, seems to be uh, working pretty well. Uh, as you know, as, if you listen to the, uh, episode uh, 98, uh, I had my biometric screening and uh, that, you know, passed with flying colors. And I've been having trouble with my blood pressure. But in the last few weeks, I've been doing more cardio training. Uh, walking isn't really the same thing. You get more from this high intensity interval training. That is uh, the kind of cardio that you need to lower your blood pressure. And if you go to that site that gives you your real age, and I'll put a link in the show notes, uh, one of the things they ask you is if you're doing this, this exact same thing, you know, four times a week or more. And if you are, Takes your real age down. I'm gonna probably go check that out. Because uh, I really do think it's working. I haven't been doing the full hit workout. This is my second time really trying to do it. Uh, although, you know, I did, I did, tried it in the gym. I've done it in the gym, but not at this level. So, as you can see, I forget. And I'm not really sprinting. So 101 is a colloquial term uh, that refers to an introductory course or uh, 
something simple and basic about a particular topic. Oh, for example, trash your opponent. That's politics 101. So this is running a fever 101, the basics of running a fever, uh, what it's all about. We've had a uh, hundred episodes and uh, although I talk about it a lot, I thought I'd just run down everything really quick and uh, try to do it while I'm doing my high intensity training, which is, uh, uh, turned out to be kind of difficult. Now the way that high intensity training is uh, defined basically is that you're doing exercise that is uh, so intense that your breathing is such that it makes it difficult to talk. So doing a podcast and high intensity training at the same time is almost impossible. Either I'm doing the impossible right now or I'm not pushing myself hard enough. Now, <clears throat> I really like this uh, stationary bike, except for the fact that it's not really doing my heart rate correctly. Every now and then it'll be like 123 and then you won't see it at all. Now I just went up to the maximum and the heart rate is zero. So, you know, i to work out why that isn't working. See if I can get it fixed because this is a brand new bike. So, when you talk about basics, I generally go to these five questions. What, who, why, where, and when, the W's the five W's of information. What? It's a podcast. It's a podcast that also is simultaneously uploaded to a YouTube channel. It's a podcast and a YouTube channel. So you can get it wherever you got it. You can go to YouTube, you can go on your smartphone and Go into the podcast app of your choice and subscribe to Running a Fever. Be really great to know what my heart rate is right now. And I can get it on my watch. I can get it on my watch 122 one minute ago. I think it does that beep at every minute or two. Something like that. Who? Michael Davis. I just explained that already. I'm 52 years old and I have basically turned the clock back on my physical life 20 years, <clears throat> at least. I'm in better shape than I have been in a really long time. Uh, when I started this program, I basically wasn't doing anything. I was watching a lot of videos. I was eating a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of bad stuff and a lot more than I should have been eating. So that was how it started. And I, so I wasn't active at all. Now I describe myself as active because I lift weights five times a week. I do this high intensity interval training at night. <clears throat> On the weekends, I try to do a long walk and record some podcasts or I go hiking or I go bicycling, which I'm probably going to go cycling this weekend. Uh, or I do what I did on the bachelor party weekend and do 
five different sports throughout the whole weekend. I'm also a man who loves his life intentionally. What I mean by that is I choose to love my life and that makes it better. It doesn't get better and then I love it. Uh, I love it and then it gets better. That's a key difference I didn't really understand for a long time. And now I get it. Okay. 19 minutes to go. Why? Well, I just kind of explained. I love my life and I want to make it last as long as possible. Well, that's why I'm doing the exercise. And the show is part of that because it motivates me to do the exercise, to do the dieting, to uh, take care of my medical needs and uh, do all this in a way that's good and it's going to help me. So, um, uh, that's, that's uh, the main reason why I do it. The other reason is I want to help other people do the same. I mean, I want other people to feel the way I feel, to love their lives, to live longer lives, to live active lives. Um, I would love to see a world when everybody was like that. And I want you to know that I'm middle-aged, I'm 52. Yes, I wish I'd started my life like this, <laughs> knowing exactly what's going on, what's important, all these things. Uh, but also, I know it's never too late. So, people of all ages, I hope will pay attention to how I've been blessed and apply that in their own lives. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know. I'm doing an okay job of uh, intensity here, I'm sweating. All right. So yeah, I wanna help others. I wanna make my life last, because I love it. Where? Earth and beyond. Hopefully somewhere an alien is picking up a Wi-Fi signal that's been in the airwaves for, you know, months <laughs> since I started. They may be picking up my first podcast back in 2006. <clears throat> so Earth and beyond. Uh, you know, I come from this beautiful area in uh, northwest Arkansas. And uh, I, you know, my listeners are everywhere. You are everywhere. 20, 27 different countries, the last time I counted, have downloaded Running a Fever. So it's uh, worldwide. Worldwide. And thank you, by the way for listening. When, from now on, <laughs> we started at the beginning of November 2017. I want to say it's the 11th. I got to get that because it's coming up. The birthday's coming up in a little more than a month. And uh, that's an important day because I've got to reach my goal. And uh, I need to get that date in my mind. And uh, so we've been going since then and I have no plan of stopping it whatsoever. You know, even if I get to my ideal weight, my ideal body fat, my ideal blood pressure, everything, my life is ideal. <laughs> if that is even possible, uh, I can always reach for it. But I still want to be sharing with the world, uh, 
how they can have a better life through fitness. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'm just a regular guy, so, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, a trainer. I'm not a doctor, nutritionist, dietitian, professional athlete, anything like that. I'm just a guy trying to make himself more healthy. And by that, you know, I hope you can relate to that, that anybody can do this. Um, so here we go. <clears throat> Gotta do better this time. More intense, more resistance. Well, it feels pretty intense. And my heart rate. Ninety nine a minute ago. Hundred and twenty is the high. And I'm uh, in my one minute cool down, 110. So still not uh, quite up to what I was, what I have been in the gym. Uh, the other win is every Wednesday and Friday this comes out. I record the episodes way ahead of time. So by the time you get this, you know, it's probably going to be November, December, maybe even January. I don't know. Uh, but it comes out every Wednesday and Friday. Sometimes I'll release an episode on Monday and that's usually something that is not me walking on a trail or uh, sitting at a recumbent bike trying to make my heart rate fluctuate in a healthy way. Got my recorder in here. I'm trying not to slam it against the uh, parts of the bike. Work on that if I ever want to do another stationary cycle cast. I'm working out for about 18 minutes here. You know, I, I read that you burn more calories in four 30 second sprints than you do walking for an hour. Interesting observation, but this kind of training can also help you because when you do high intensity training, you uh, burn more calories in the coming, uh, in the time after uh, you work out. So something like eight hours after you work out, it raises your metabolism. Uh, that's not all about burning calories, but you know, if you're trying to lose weight, that's what you want. If you're trying to lose fat, <clears throat> that's what you want. So, not starting over here. We're moving forward. Um, you know, I want to talk more about aspects of loving life. And I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, the new strategy. I've been on this new strategy for really for several weeks now. And that is uh, weight training uh, five days a week. And, uh, well, you know, it's, 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 it has changed and morphed over that time. You know, I started out, I was just doing weights uh, two or three times a week. And it was cardio two or three times a week, all in the morning. But now I'm going to a five-day weight uh, schedule, uh, different muscles every day. And then in the evenings... At least three times a week, I'm going to be doing this high intensity interval training for only half an hour. So, probably 45 minutes in the morning, half an hour at night for now. So, another thing that's going on, let's see, what do we call this? Uh, uh, this is going to be the first uh, interior decorating department uh, report. 
As you can see right now, I'm in a bedroom. This is my spare bedroom. It's pretty spare. There's just a bed in here. <laughs> this stationary bike and a couple of dumbbells that you can't see. Uh, the, uh, so what's going to happen is right now I have two rooms in my house that are basically serving the same function. And I'm going to combine those. The office where I do all my editing of videos and audio podcasts, that's going to move into one of those rooms. And then uh, the former office will have, will become a gym. I'm going to have this stationary bike. There will be my treadmill that I've talked about. Clean that up and put that in there. And my dumbbells and hopefully a bench at some point in the future so I can actually do a number of weight training exercises at home when I need to. And this will become the spare bedroom that it's supposed to be right now and <laughs> nothing else, hopefully. Fashion department. Well, I kind of like these and one shorts that I got at Walmart. Uh, I'm currently wearing a size large t-shirt. This is from Polo. Uh, none of these companies are paying me any money for this, unfortunately. But uh, this is a size large slim fit t-shirt from Polo. After you know, a year of working out, dieting, counting my calories, switching from beef to chicken to turkey, and all the things that I've done to improve my health and change my body, I'm wearing clothes that have slim in the title. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, folks. And if you're watching this for the first time, you may say, yeah, right. Yeah, you don't look like you've ever been fat. Well, I'm wearing clothes that fit now. <laughs> so it's easy to see that. Uh, or easy to think that. Uh, but yeah, listen from episode one. Then you'll get the whole picture. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Sizing down uh, some other things. So it's turning cold now. First time it looks like it's serious about getting cold. And um, so time to get out the winter clothes. I'll open up the box of winter clothes. And I've got all these sweaters and shirts and long underwear and all kinds of things like that that are really warm and nice to wear in the wintertime. And uh, of course, nothing fits anymore. That's a given. But, uh, you know, I've been wearing a lot of clothes that don't fit because that's just really, I can't just buy a whole new wardrobe all at once. Um, so in addition to that, they're all kind of worn out. All these clothes I've had for a long time, maybe 10 or more years. So uh, it's time to get some new stuff. So I went to Walmart today. Uh, I bought a $10 Henley. Looks really nice. We'll see how, what happens when I wash it. <laughs> uh, one thing you can count on at Walmart, stuff's going to look new and uh, it doesn't cost very much. So I'm kind of waiting until I hit my ideal weight, hopefully by Christmas. And um, I'll be working on the body composition after that, but I think I will have stabilized my sizes for a while. And so uh, I hope at that point to start getting, you know, some more nicer, some nicer clothes. So, uh, but for now, I just got to get through this time and uh, 
So yeah, I spent $32 at Walmart. I got one piece of outerwear, the Henley that I spoke of. And uh, two t-shirts and four pair of uh, underwear shorts. So uh, all that for 32 bucks. That's Walmart for you, you know. I may go back and get another $10 Henley that I can throw into my weekly rotation. Um, so that, you know, and I've got a few of the, you know, clothes that I ran small earlier. So, yeah, I'm thinking this is uh, probably coming to the end of the length of this video. So I'm going to check out. Um, anyway, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this. It's a little bit different. And, uh, and if you like it, uh, you know, give me a comment down below. You can send an email to mail at runningfever.com. Comment there at runningfever.com. Any of the above works. And uh, subscribe if you want more. Uh, you know, I want you to keep on keeping on. And keep on keeping the fever. And uh, I will uh, catch you next time. This is the Padua Podcast Network, padawamedia.com.